Hi, welcome to Biogram YouTube channel. My name is Radja Novic from Novi Sad, Serbia. Today I will be talking about a set that I bought for fixing small electronics, laptops and other small gadgets. I was looking for a set of small uh, screwdrivers or small bits and other smaller tools for doing that stuff and I bought this that I will talk about today. It works okay. I'm happy with it and this whole video, as far as I'm concerned, I will put a Amazon affiliate link in the video's description if you want to see the price, if you want to buy it. Uh, but in, in this whole video, I will be talking about the pros and cons of this so that you can make an informed decision if that information helps you. That's, that's the whole idea, that's the, the whole video. So what I got is the made by company called iFixit. And uh, they make a lot of tutorials, both videos and uh, articles about how to fix different kinds of electronics, laptops, uh, smartphones and so on. That's uh, a good marketing move, helps them as advertising, but also helps you if you want to fix something. So I think it's a win-win, it's a good way to, to do things. This is called Pro Tech Toolkit. And for, in my, I was looking... Uh, I'll make a short digression here, talk about bits. I have an article that discusses different standards of, of bits. The most common bit size that you see is the quarter inch bit. This is what I'm talking about, not what kind of screw goes on the other end, but the, the, the attachment, that's quarter inch. And I have a lot of many screwdrivers that take that bit standard and my article explained it, explains this in great detail, so this one also takes that standard. But for, there is also a larger standard, and this one, uh, this one is just over uh, a quarter of an inch, so about 6 millimeters. This one is about 8 millimeters. I don't uh, remember the size, uh, nominal size in imperial uh, uh, notes, I will put it in the across the screen and it's all in my article I cannot memorize that stuff and uh, give me the metric system or give me that <laughs> so that's the larger standard there is another even larger and that's for heavy machinery if you decide it's a good idea to use bits but for fixing stuff and when you need really small attachments you usually need to go with the, the only bit standard that's in metric and that's the four millimeter standard so let's get this out of the way and let's show the, the four, so this is the the, mo the most common one and these are the four millimeter bits. So this is the, the size of the attachment that you get. It's a lot smaller and it's easier to make uh, very thin adapters that you can get into tight spots. And what I like about this set, I will put some um, more talk about why this is very nice in my opinion and discuss some downsides but first let's see what else comes in the set and uh, this is it comes in a pouch like this so this thing can go in here this is magnetic this section here a bit and or it's not or I've uh, for, forgotten already I'm getting, I'm getting too old and I don't use this part all that much, but yes, it is magnetic. So it holds things in place. I don't use this very often as you can see, but it has its pros. But what I like about this is that it comes with different kinds of picks for opening uh, various plastic covers that are no longer made to screw, but they are pressed in place and you always risk breaking something. And so this comes with these like guitar picks and other tools for opening that if your nails are uh, very nice and you want to preserve them. So these can be bought separately, different kinds of manufacturers make them, but uh, a decent number of these comes with the iFixit set. You also have this uh, okayish quality vacuum, not the best I've used and seen, but it does get the job done. 
This is not the highest quality anti-static bracelet that, that I've seen again, but it gets, gets the job done and if you are working on something really sensitive and you are not a professional repair service, it will, it will let you get, get things done and so I don't use this obviously. So it's not the, the fastest, the smoothest working, but it gets the job done also if you need to. It has a plug here. You should be able to plug it in and uh, contact and get it onto some ground so that you are grounded and that your static electricity does not damage any fine electronics that you, you work on. It's not a, a bad thing though, I prefer to just hold my hands on a grounded metal computer, PC computer case. It may not be the best practice, but I would be lying if I said that I do otherwise. As you can see from this, uh, from the cleanliness of this. The other things are another thing for, for picking stuff, this one is metal. Not the strongest steel I've seen, but it doesn't get too easily damaged or broken. And the same goes for these other things. Some of these are plastic, uh, both for being uh, not uh, conductive and also probably for saving costs. I'll discuss that part later in a bit. So that's, that's why no company pays me to do reviews. <laughs> uh, this is uh, the far from the best set of uh, this kind of tool, I'm not sure what you call it in English, but uh, it's for picking small things up and it's far from the, the highest quality. If I don't remember, I'll show what decent quality looks like. And this is also another, another variant, but it should get the job done. This little tool is nice. It auto closes, so it's the reverse from the other two I've shown. And this will hold things when you release your hand, so not N n nice choice, very nice choice of these tools, in my opinion. Everything I say in this video is, in my opinion and experience, take it as, as such. So, again, I'm not, not the one selling these, not paid to advertise them. So, trying to just share my experience. A decent set, and what I really love about this tool is the, the choice of bits they made. This is the best choice in terms that you do not come across uh, screws that you cannot unscrew with at least one of these. <laughs> Sometimes you can use two if you're creative. And uh, it's, a, it's a very comprehensive without having anything that you never use, that you don't really need and that you're not likely to come across, at least when you're talking about fi fine electronics and these small size bits. So that's a brilliant choice. And my biggest complaint, I may be getting old, but see these markings. Just look at them. Just look at them, Anakin. Uh, here, they are very small, impossible to read unless the lighting is, lighting is very, very good. And even then, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's almost completely useless. It's almost completely useless, the, the marks. So, I know that these down here... Uh, tips are Philips and the, the cross headed up here are JIS standard, but I had to memorize that because the markings are, are complete. Um, they should have added some paint or something else, but maybe there is a reason, maybe that would have reduced the profits, increased the costs of producing, but that's, that's a, a big downside. And I cannot practically engrave this in such a small sizes. So it is as it is. Uh, that, uh, but uh, that doesn't stop me from working. And I just wanted to, to know this. And if anyone from company bothers to watch any of my videos, this, if they in, improve this, uh, then I, I owe them a beer and, uh, and a plate of chilapi <laughs> and some rakia. Come to Serbia. And uh, uh, what I love uh, are the bit quality. They are good. They are far from bad. They are not good for the price. They are not bad. They are not good for the price. They are good, what I would call good, decent quality bits. Uh, okay, Vera bits are maybe, arguably, a bit tougher 
stronger, but for the fine electronics, you don't need that. I didn't do any hand to hand testing or comparing hardness, anything, but I work with some cheap, uh, low quality bits. These are what I would say they are good. I don't know about uh, other manufacturers. For example, Weha is very uh, uh, famous, renowned manufacturer. And also when it comes to these small bits and the four millimeter uh, bit uh, screwdrivers, but uh, these bits are not lacking. They are good. It is made in China, but Chinese can make good stuff if you pay a reasonable fair price. So uh, I'm sure that if I could know the name of the manufacturer in China and ask them, hey, can you make me the same thing you made for I fix it? I would surely get this for half the price, whatever its price currently is, because uh, they are making a profit on their brand. I'm sure about that. And uh, no, no doubt about that, but uh, they could have made more profit by uh, ordering some very low quality, but this is not low quality. I, I must say that it's, it's good, even though it is made in, in China. So uh, the thing I like uh, more than the small Weha screwdrivers that I've had the pleasure of using is this. This is just brilliant quality. This spins so nicely, so smoothly. And when you need to work things, uh, you can hold it in, in place so it doesn't drop if you're doing something on, on strange, uh, strange uh, inclinations, whatever. And if you're just doing down here, you can just press it and, and keep working. And uh, it, it's, it's very, very, very spins very nicely, unlike some uh, even more expensive manufacturers when they make it, it, it's a lot flimsier. It's not that quality. So this is, this is great. I love this and it's not breaking off. I think this is just some aluminum. I don't think this is steel, but it's not breaking off. These torques that you can use and apply with tools like this are obviously not high enough to cause any stress to this interface. So, so that's a win-win. What I did want to add and improve, I bought this. This is made by a German company, Bernstein. I will show you some Bernstein tools. They are, they are high quality. They, are, they used to be decent for electronics. And uh, I'm not sure about today's standards, but these uh, bit extensions, they are of, of decent or very high quality, I would say probably stronger than this aluminum. This is steel and not too large in diameter. It is a bit wider than this one, but just a little bit. They are almost the same. So it lets you, it lets you get into some long recesses if you need to. And I wanted this extension without using this part that is a bit, it has its pros that it's designed to work at an angle. And you can hold this and spin it. Let's try to demonstrate that with a tool that you can see spinning. And that's this one, for example. So you can see it spinning. It's a decent thing. It works at low torques that you use these small tools for. But I didn't like it. It's, it wiggles and you can see what happens. So. This is my preferred thing for elongation. These were not too expensive. I'll of course, put all the Amazon affiliate links to see the product, see the prices. And uh, I suggest you buy in your local hardware shop to support it because those are dying now. But of course, I will make some money if you use Amazon affiliate and I won't, won't complain too much. Uh, that's, uh, that's about it. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. I was using this on the video, but I didn't mention it. This has like a small groove so you can put parts, smaller parts in it and smaller screws. And it's handy when you go someplace, you just pack it all in a, in a bag and you put this and it lets you work pretty nicely. So that's, uh, that's the, the whole, the whole set. This is completely symmetrical and I often put it upside down and uh, it has magnets to hold it in place and it stays in place pretty well. You cannot hold it for the, for this. I would not uh, trust this to, to carry it like this, but, but it stays in place. And so it all packs nicely, nicely together. You can pack it together, close it up and carry it wherever it is that you need to go. It's not too bulky, it's not too heavy, and this stays in place thanks to that magnet. Probably, it's probably helping. So, I, I saved this just for the video, 
and I will throw it away. I want to just save the, this is where you can uh, easily read what uh, adapters it has. I want to save this to, to show in a, in a video as a, as a shot for anyone who is interested. I'm sure that you can find this information on the iFixit website. I think their website is pretty good if memory serves me. But uh, this, is, this is my first choice for the tools for small electronics. I did not have a strict budget, but I didn't want to pay more than I need to for the quality that works, that gets the job done. And this was my choice. I was not paid by this company to advertise them. I was not paid by any other company. Uh, uh, how do I say? I could have bought something that costs two or three times more. I put the money aside. I was looking for quality. I was looking for what uh, has enough different standards and this looks like a great set, great thing to start. If you have something broken, damaged, you can just buy separate bits by any manufacturer. manufacturer. Viha is not bad for that, I'm sure. And I, I could get separate uh, iFixit or separate Viha bits, but keep this handy package. This is what I really like. and. Uh, I almost forgot to mention one thing and uh, this is lovely. They even included uh, what I use those paper clips for most often. They included a bit that you can use to take out the SIM card out of smartphones. So the, the, the pointy thing and it's pretty stable. It doesn't bend or twist too easily. So everything that you could need for, for doing a small file electronics is here. I hope this video has helped you informed. It may not have been too entertaining, but uh, I would have liked to have been able to see a video like this to confirm what I was uh, expecting when I was looking at options and decided, okay, this is probably it. So now I'm more certain and I wanted to share that experience and I hope it helps anyone make a, uh, an informed decision either to or to not buy, to go for something else. That's also that's also fine. I wish to note and stress that I don't do a lot of fine electronics work. And so I cannot say that this is good for professional shops. I can say that for the tools that I use for bicycles, but for fine electronics, I, I cannot say that. It looks good. I would say yes, but I cannot confirm it. And I think it's only fair to say as it is. So I haven't used these extensively every day for many uh, different uh, appliances and to say okay it's it's durable it's sturdy enough and can take the abuse of a of a daily electronics repair shop so no i don't i, I cannot confirm that so I, I almost forgot to know that i think it's fair and that's the whole video thank you again very much for watching if you like the things that i do you can uh, of course like and share and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so that you can get notifications when I upload new videos. You can also support my work on patreon.com slash by gremlin. And for any comments and questions, I would <laughs> suggest uh, politely ask you to use the by gremlin forum on by gremlin.net because then anyone else can search and find the question and the answer. They get lost on YouTube. And when I uh, wrote someone an answer a year ago, I cannot find it. I remember, hey, I, I, I got that question, where did I, I can't find it? On forum, I can usually do a search and find it and say, okay, I already answered this, here's the answer. And, and that saves everyone a lot of time, especially me. So, <laughs> But it also saves you, you don't have to wait for my answer, you can find it there later. So I think it's a good idea. That's why I started it and uh, that's it. That's the whole video. Now, finally, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in some other video. Cheers, stay cool. And uh, I hope I fix it, fixes this for us who are over 40 and don't have the, the 2020 vision anymore. So think about the elderly. <laughs> Cheers.